It is 9.01 and time to get this thing started. We appreciate all of you who have came today to view this webinar, uh, your ACA and HR crystal ball. We probably shouldn't call it a crystal ball, but more a know-it-all ball uh, that has all the answers that you've been wanting to have answered when it comes to uh, HR questions and ACA. So I will let you know we are recording this. and. Um, so for those of you who want to see it later, we will eventually have this up on our website. Seth is awesome. He will probably have it up within a day, and you can go and view it there as well. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping. You are all on mute, um, so I cannot hear you. Uh, any questions that you want, I just prefer you type them into the chat, and we'll try to just address, the, uh, address those questions at the end if they're not too tough. Otherwise, uh, let's get this thing going. Um, so, you know, bottom line is the client's expectations have certainly changed for the broker today. In fact, today you are needing to know everything there is to know about ACA filings uh, for each group. You know, the as well as all the different fees that are involved, like quarry fees, reinsurance assessment fees, and there's and the list is extensive and long. There, you've also had to become the HR source. Uh, we're getting more and more HR questions from you folks, and which is requiring me to head out to DLL websites. It was just getting very cumbersome to try and find the information. It was certainly simple things like what's a full-time employee, am I an applicable large employer, certainly COBRA questions, mini COBRA questions, and on and on. We're also seeing that you guys are up to now become tax advisors. Uh, people are asking you to figure out how to do 60-55s and 56. How do I do 1095-94s? Uh, what's a form 5500? Do I need it? And, and many others. And with all those things becoming more and more prevalent as a, a part of our job as brokers, uh, certainly something we weren't doing as little as five years ago, uh, we have decided that we need to do something different about that. So enter HR 360, and on the line I have with me Paul Hobel. Good morning, Paul. Hi. Good morning, everyone. So Paul here is going to – I'm going to change the presenter screen uh, over to Paul. Paul is actually the guy who introduced me to HR 360. Um, HR 360 is a fantastic product. He's going to run you through this, and our relationship later at the end, I'll talk a little bit on how you – can access HR 360 as well as uh, Paul have a few things too. Paul, the show is yours. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Well put. And um, everyone, thank you so much for attending this morning. And really, just to give you a little bit of a background of what HR 360 is and what INA is going to be providing you. So HR 360 is really going to act like your virtual back office support. It's simply a way to make sure all your clients are effectively managing their workforce while staying compliant. That's what our whole site surrounds. So this site is going to act like having an HR department at your fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's even going to provide information into an easy to understand format. And like I mentioned, it's going to make sure your groups are effectively managing their workforce while staying compliant. So I just want to go over a couple of the basics first. So let me do this. OK. So the HR library in your company. From supervising employees and staying compliant with health care reform to complying with federal and state labor laws, the HR library stays with you every step of the way with attorney review tools, guidelines, and forms. So some of the features to HR 360, we include most current health care reform guidelines and alerts. We cover how to hire, discipline, give performance reviews, and terminate. We even have hundreds of forms, policies, and a sample employee handbook, which I'm going to build on in a moment. We cover COBRA, FMLA, and state continuation coverage, interactive HR tools, including a job description builder, and a salary benchmarking tool, as well as our new employee handbook builder. Um, we even cover state labor laws and all the state required posters and notices. All content is developed and updated by our team of attorneys as well. So we currently have seven attorneys on staff. They review all information on our site, so we know we're posting the most correct and up-to-date content. And what's inside the library, and you're going to see some of this as we go, but these are the major sections that we cover. We cover employee benefits, health care reform, human resources, recruitment and hiring, discipline and termination, state employment laws, forms and policies, online HR tools, and we even dive into safety and wellness. So 
I think this gives you guys kind of a, a good background overview of what HR360 does, and I think we're just going to dive right into the system. So let's do this. Oops. Let me get out of here. Okay. So guys, we are looking at the home page to HR360. And um, just to go over a couple things to start, now the first thing I want to bring to your attention, at the bottom you guys all have your convenient HR News Center. And just so you know, this is where we're going to provide you and maybe some of your clients live streaming news feeds relating to healthcare reform and HR news alerts. So a good way to put it, anytime a law has been amended or changed, anytime an event has occurred, you're going to find the update on our site within 24 hours. And as I mentioned before, to give you a little peace of mind, everything is reviewed by our team of attorneys. And don't feel like you need to constantly come to this portion of our site and monitor it to see if anything's changed. We actually alert you via email. Anytime a law in your state has been amended or changed, anytime an event has occurred, anytime there's a healthcare reform update, you will get an alert via email. So you're aware, you're on your toes. And just so you know, what you're going to be having access to through INA is in this blue toolbar right here. You're going to hear me refer to this throughout as our HR library. And just so you know, there's over 2,000 pages on our site. It can be a little tricky from time to time finding exactly what it is you're looking for. When in doubt, type it in the search bar. It really is the quickest way for you to get to the content you need. So let's do this, guys. First section of the library, employee benefits. And now this section in particular, it's just going to help you and your clients understand the important laws that surround employee benefits. And the way it works on our site is every section has this left-hand navigation box. And what this is, it's essentially the section broken down into topics. So if we start with the benefit notices calendar, you'll see a little black arrow. It just means there's a drop-down menu. It means we've broken that down a bit further for you guys. So let's start with this. Benefit notices checklist. I think it's a nice little tool that may fly under the radar a bit. But these are all the notices and disclosures that your clients are going to need to provide their employees. We include SPD and general rights of disclosures. We even get into COBRA notices, HIPAA notices and disclosures, special health care, health care reform. And all the way at the bottom, for some of your larger groups, 5,500. So the way this works is say you guys want to know more about a specific notice in particular, you just click the powdered blue link. So for example, COBRA election notice, it will bring you to a chart-based calendar. It's going to provide you with the document you clicked on, type of information required, who it's provided to, provided by, and even the time frame, the timing of disclosure. And that goes for all notices on that page. And hey, you have them at your fingertips right here. You click the notice, and in most instances, you can open it up. If it's available on the government website, we have it here on HR 360. So like I said, right at yours and your client's fingertips. OK. If I scroll up, just a couple other things I want to cover on the left. You know, we do break these notices down by company size right here. So this allows a group to know what notices pertain to them based off the size of their company. So whether they're 1 to 19 employees, 20 to 49, or 50 plus, we have all the notices they need. So just to give you a quick look, it's very similar to the chart I showed a few moments ago, but once again, now we break it down by group size. OK. And just a couple other things. Now, we do have a section for COBRA, as well as FMLA, teaching our clients how to properly implement the two, and even a section for DOL audits, which I know is every broker's concern. And what we do is we jump into prevention and preparation. We cover how to lower the risk of a DOL audit, simply best practices for lowering the risk of an audit. We have our document request checklist, which can be a great tool for you guys to do a mock audit with any groups you have a concern about, and even top tips for navigating through an audit can all be found right here. OK, so I think, that guy, I think that gives you guys the gist on how this works. Every section is structured in a similar way. So if we bounce right over to healthcare reform, now, I always like touching on this. We know this is constantly changing. And we know this has become a nightmare for a lot of brokers out there. All this section is going to do is going to help you keep up with all the ongoing changes made to the law. And down here, we have our special news updates. Just so you know, these all range in order from chronological, oldest to most recent. All you do is you click the article, it opens up. Now we're going to email this to you regardless. We just put it here for your convenience. And on the left, this is what we cover. Now to get right into it, 2016 healthcare reform checklist. Here it is. Here's the checklist for 2016. Here are all the key components of healthcare reform. 
Now, I think this is a great checklist, but I do think it could be a little overwhelming at times. You know, what we do is we actually break this down to what we call ACA to-do lists. It takes healthcare reform and breaks it down based off a of group's size and their plan. You know, whether they're a large fully insured group, small fully insured, large self-insured, we break it down into action steps. So they know what they need to do, and we all even offer deadlines and tips so they know when these things need to be done by. So all you do is you click the list or click the link, and you can open up that checklist. So feel free to send this to any one of your clients. Okay. And we even cover ACA by year and company size. So here's a chart. It's exactly what it sounds like, healthcare reform by year and by company size. So on the left, you have your laws. On the right, who must comply depending on their size. So at least two employees comply with all of this. If you keep scrolling down, you start getting into 50 plus employees. Now being introduced to pay or play, which we do have a pay or play toolkit in this section. 201, 250, all the way down to other provisions affecting small employers. So if I come back up top, guys, the only other thing I need to touch on, just because I know a little while back, I'm sure you all got a ton of questions relating to this, we do cover ACA's information reporting requirements for Forms 1094 and 1095. So what you're going to find in this section, if you scroll down, we actually have Forms 1094 and 1095, B and C. We have instructions on how to fill them out. We even have a few different checklists to make sure your clients are doing everything they need to in order to be compliant. And we also have a webinar held by the Proskauer Law Firm on how, you know, I guess a better way to put it, it's a way just to further educate you and your clients on how all this works. So this is all here for you. And like I said, you know, these first two sections are the ones I like to heavily focus on. We're going to cruise through the rest of the library. I'm just going to show you some important tools I think you need to be aware of. And under human resources, so under human resources, the one tool in particular I want to touch on, before you begin compliance by company size. So very similar to the chart I showed you a few moments ago, this is federal labor laws by number of employees. And on the left, you have your federal labor laws. On the right, you have who must comply depending on their company size. So one in 14 employees must comply with all of this. 15 plus 20, and it works in a very similar way, 50 all the way down to compliance for federal contractors. So let's come back on up top. We even have a section for performance reviews down here, teaching your clients how to properly conduct a performance review meeting. And then the next section, recruitment and hiring, this section is just going to make sure that your clients are hiring the best employees for their company. We're going to guide them through the hiring process. We're going to teach them how to actually conduct an interview. And we even have all the recruitment and hiring forms we believe they're ever going to possibly need. And now these are great when interviewing candidates, bringing on new employees. So as you can see, candidate evaluation forms, employee orientation forms, employment applications, and more. So all you have to do is simply come here, click the Word doc, download, print, and you can send this to any one of your clients who need it. Discipline and termination, we're not going to focus too much on this because this is exactly what it sounds like. It's just going to help you and your clients consider all major areas that surround the discipline and termination process. So we hope it doesn't come to it, but if it does, we're going to take your client through the proper steps on how to terminate an employee. Down here, you're going to find some additional termination forms, termination policies, and procedures. And we even offer a step-by-step -step guide on how to properly discipline a problem child. This will also offer you and your clients verbal and written warning notices that can be used. State laws. So everything we've covered so far has really been on a, on a federal level. This is where we break down everything uh, by state-specific information. So on the left, you're going to find all 50 states. And on the bottom, you're even going to find the interactive map. So I think I'm just going to give you guys an idea of how this works. And we're just going to stick with Connecticut. That's where we're based out of. And what this is, it's simply an overview or an introduction to employment laws in the state of Connecticut. And on the left, you have the state laws that apply. And then get right into it. I know how important this is for a lot of you, continuation of benefits. So what this is, it's simply an overview of continuation of benefits in Connecticut, as well as the state-specific mini COBRA information you may or may not need. So that's all here for you. And then one other thing we like to touch on, posters. We have all the notices and posters for the state of Connecticut. You're going to find all of these in English, and you're going to find most of these in Spanish as well. So these are all the mandatory posters and, and notices that your clients are going to need throughout the year. 
So we cover them all right here. We even get into the federal poster requirements at the bottom. And all your client needs to do, or even yourself, is simply click the PDF link, download, print, and these can be post anywhere in the workplace. We even give you the option of purchasing an all-in-one if you want to go that route. Otherwise, individually, like we said, all included. Forms and policies. So the forms and policies section features over 500 sample HR forms, policies, and checklists available for downloading, customizing, and printing. Here we have COBRA notices and forms. We have government forms, HR self-assessments, even I-9. Now, HR apps and tools. So I think this is all the cool interactive tools that you and your groups are going to want to use throughout the year. And this section provides online HR tools, such as a custom job description builder. We even have an employee benefits benchmarking tool, which is going to allow you and your clients to compare benefits in different industries within different occupations. An employee handbook builder, one of our more popular tools. So this is going to be great for your groups who either A, don't have an employee handbook, or B, have an out-of-date one. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to take them through some prompts. Now, clearly, we're going to ask what their company name is, some details about their company policies, what state they're based out of, how large their organization is. They're going to follow our prompts, and what we'll do is generate an attorney-compliant handbook that they can use throughout the year. So on top of being an enormous time saver, this can be a huge cost saver for them as well. We do know to go to an attorney to review a handbook. You're looking at upwards sometimes of $2,500. Now, once again, this is all included in our site. Down at the bottom, we have a total compensation statement builder, allowing your clients to provide each employee with a total compensation statement, and a salary benchmarking tool, which actually is one of our more popular tools as well. It's just going to let you and your clients see the high, median, and low salary ranges for over 900 positions in every state. So we usually keep this broad. We're going to call it accountant, click next. The system wants to refine the search. We want to keep it broad. We'll call it accountants, click next again. And immediately, you have a yearly wage chart for accountants in the US. And we can go even further than this. We could break it down by state. So now you have the state compared to the US averages. We can go a step further than that. So we're going to break this down by region now. We're going to say Bridgeport, Stanford, Norwalk. That's kind of where we're based out of. And now what you have is the region compared to the state compared to the US averages. We even broke this down to an hourly wage chart as well as a wage table. And you know the big reason we show this tool in particular, it's a great way for your clients to price their new employees just to make sure they're paying them fair to the market, especially within that state and within that region. So it's all here for them. Resource Center, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's just going to provide you and your group's bottom line information on government support systems and laws. And here we even cover a range of glossary terms, ranging from healthcare benefit terms all the way to workers' comp terms. Safety and wellness. This section largely covers OSHA guidelines. And this is where we're going to provide you and your clients extensive safety-related information off to the left. And last but not least, HR training. So mainly what these are, these are just a number of short snippet videos relating to a lot of the information we already covered. It's just a quick way for you and your clients to get the information you or they need. So mainly these are about three to six minutes long, but we are introducing some longer training modules and do have some longer training modules here. For example, we have one relating to the hiring process, which is approximately 45 minutes long, and we have several videos relating to sexual harassment, all of which are just under a half hour. And we are constantly adding to this portion of the site. So as you can see, we have seven pages of videos lined up just like this. To make it a little easier for you to find the right ones you need, we sort everything. So maybe you or maybe even your client just wants to find some videos relating to employee onboarding. They can. And we bring them to the videos they need when they need them. So guys, everything that we just covered is everything that you have access to through INA. This is our HR 360 library. I'm just going to touch on something that's a little different. Now, this is something that you would actually have access to if you went through us. And we call this the admin system, this little toolbar up top. You know, I kind of like to call it the broker tool set. This is where you go to manage your contacts, customize your monthly newsletters with your logo, your company information, send them out to prospects. You even have access to about 40 of our customizable PDFs relating to a lot of the tools we already covered. Now, this is really just going to be a high-level overview. There's a lot you can do with this. Settings actually has some tools to draw a little more traffic to your public web page. And then support tools, just to do kind of a high-level overview. We do have training for the broker every week, even pre-recorded videos. Excel spreadsheet in order to get your clients into the system. A number of customizable PDFs, which we know a lot of brokers love sending out to their clients, sending out to prospects, 
it really helps you get your brand out there. So just to give you an idea of what this may look like if you do it, we're just going to pick any one of these. And I know this is a, a popular tool that we have going around, five most common ACA mistakes and how to avoid them. You click Customize and Save. You click Get Started. System wants you to select a different logo. Once yours is uploaded, you don't worry about this. Company information, always make sure it's up to date. Ours looks good. And generate the PDF. So I want to give you guys an idea of what this would look like if you were to do it. So download ebook, open it up. So once you upload your logo into the system, you're going to find it right here on all the PDFs. And they're nice interactive pieces to send to clients, send to prospects. At the bottom, you also have your logo again as well as your company information so that all your clients, all your prospects see this is coming directly from you. Okay. And the only other thing I want to touch on, you know, let me come back to support tools just so you know we do have all the marketing pieces you need to help promote our product, help explain our services. Reports, you can actually see who's logging in, who's not, when the last time it was they logged in, which emails are bouncing, which ones are being received, things of that nature. And then manage emails, I think one of the more popular prospecting tools that we have here, one that uh, we know brokers love, is our customizable monthly newsletter, something else that you would get access to. So we release these newsletters on the first business day of the month. And once again, this can be a great way to keep your clients on track with specific compliance issues. and once again, a great way for you guys to get your brand out there. So anytime you want to customize or tweak any one of our emails, you send edit or you click edit. And like I mentioned, you have complete control over the customization of our monthly newsletters. When you upload your logo into the system, it appears right here on all your newsletters. And you can customize anything about this you could possibly think of. We can call it Mike's HR News Alerts. We Thank could you. change the font. The font <laughs> I thought you might say that. The font, the font size, the pictures can all be rotated out with your pictures. And at the bottom, these will have your company information and even your logo. If you want to throw it in a few more times, you have that option. So guys, this, this is a feature you don't get through INA that you would get through us. Otherwise, you have full roam uh, of, I should say complete roam, of the HR 360 library and all the tools inside. And that really is HR 360 in a nutshell. I, I hope you guys all enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, you know, let us know. Mike, uh, I'm assuming I give it back to you at this point. Sounds pretty good. So let's take it back, see if I can get this thing back, show my screen. So with that being said, Paul, hang around a little bit in case there are a question or two. Um, so the next question comes up, you know, how can you gain access to HR 360? Well, there are three ways for sure. You can choose to purchase through Paul, my buddy here at HR 360, and get a discount by mentioning INA. Uh, he's already guaranteed me he would do that for you. Uh, also, any group that is written through INA with a 9-1 or a 10-1 effective date will get HR 360. They will get their own login access, as well as you, the agent, will also have access to this. So as a kickoff and to get, you know, get some new groups with people who maybe haven't written much with us, uh, we're going to offer this as a chance to get that out there. The next thing we're going to do is you can become a platinum producer with INA. Now, platinum producers get their own login. And each group that you have with INA will get access to the system. So some of you out there, I've noticed there's a couple of you out there that are logged in are platinum producers today. So stay tuned. Watch your email. You should soon be getting the email from me with all the information we're going to need to get you set up as well as your groups. For those of you who don't know what a platinum producer is or how to become one, it's really not that tough. INA has two sides of the house. We have an annuity and a life side. So you can do a couple different things. You have placed at least a million dollars in annuity premium with Insurance Network in the last two years, have placed at least 50000 in target life premium with Insurance Network in the last two years. If you're on the health side, have at least five group medical cases in force with Insurance Network America. Or if you don't have five, maybe just put some big ones out there, have placed at least 100 new group medical lives with Insurance Network in the last two years. If you do any of these different things, that will allow you to become a platinum producer. We will send you out a nice crystal. We do it twice a year. We take a look. We send you about a foot tall crystal that says, welcome to being a platinum producer. And then there's probably somebody out there saying, well, I get that, but what else is there to be a platinum producer? Well, as a platinum producer, you also get access to, oh, it's running away and doing weird things for me. I'm going to flip back over to here. 
please. There we go. You get access to our Smart View for Advisor software. allows people to actually log into our system, and we track all of your groups, let you see all the information that's there. As you'll see at number two, we've gotten red just added. You have access to HR 360 software. Uh, the other thing we have is you get one-on-one -on -one marketing consultation with our director of marketing. That is Seth. Seth sets up these webinars, does all of our program. He is awesome at taking a look at your web page, looking if it needs to possibly be redesigned or have issues uh, taken care of with it. Maybe you like your logo, but you think it needs fresh stuff and smartened up and like to have a more modern look. Seth can do those kinds of things as well and will sharpen up your, uh, your logos or completely redesign the image that you're looking for. We also have access to constant contact. You would get free access to that and be able to use that to your heart's delight and have up to 500 of your clients be able to get newsletters or email campaigns and send information out there all on us. As well as the last thing, you get a free voucher for all of your continuing education necessary to renew your insurance license. So there's actually quite a bit uh, there for a platinum producer for really not a lot of effort, 100 lives or five groups in force if you're on the health side. So you could get more information. If you call today, they talked earlier about some of the kits that you can develop. We recently just had our top producer summit. I see a couple of you on there were at that summit and probably sat in how to navigate a DOL audit. That really raised some eyes to some people because the DOL audits are becoming more and more uh, commonplace. We are hearing more and more that uh, the DOLs have a little more fun with groups out there, but it's not really fun for you, the agent, or the group when it happens. And we've had groups that have just completely been lost in the process. The class was amazing. And they have developed this DOL audit kit that kind of walks you through how to get through that and as quickly and painlessly as possible. So I've actually spooled that up. And if you call today, talk to one of the, if you already have a sales specialist, talk with him, he'll send you that. And uh, if you don't, you're new to the process, you're new to INA, give us a call, we'll assign you to somebody, and we will get you out your DOL audit kit. I want to thank all of you for attending today. It was awesome. We had a tremendous uh, uh, response out there for this. And uh, so once again, Questions? Give us a call, 800-456-7999. That's about as easy a number as you can remember. Paul, thank you again very much. And thank you, Mike. Take care, everyone.